I don't think it has changed me. I, I think that kind of change that I think your question suggests, uh, if there was one, occurred about four years ago and uh, after the incident of March 31st, 1981. But I have to say that the manner in which this was handled uh, explained to me it all in advance. I knew that uh, they had found uh, a polyp well, they'd found polyps which had been taken out and which are absolutely benign and harmless. But I'd also known over many years of taking physical exams on a regular basis that there is a form of polyp that uh, does, if allowed to go uh, in the colon or intestine, become uh, cancerous. So uh, I was going in to have one of the benign polyps removed and in the course of this, they found the presence of this other one and they didn't now know it's called an adenoma, and they didn't know whether cancer cells had developed yet or not in that one, but you take it out because they will if you leave it there. And when it was taken out, they came back in and told me that, uh, yes, there had been uh, uh, a few of what they call the nodes uh, that showed signs of cancer cells, uh, but they'd taken it completely out. It had not penetrated the outer wall, so it had not spread to any other part of the body or anything, and as the one expert in that uh, business put it to me, he said, uh, you had cancer, you no longer have it. Now I recognize that this means that uh, from now on there will have to be very regular with the uh, checkups, uh, but uh, I was so well prepared and uh, had such knowledge as that they'd given me of this particular thing that, uh, no, I. As I say, the man said, I had cancer and I don't have it anymore, and I feel fine. Great, thank you. <clears throat> okay. That's it. Well, see, with me here, you don't get any follow up questions. <laughs> 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 you can do it this way all the time.